a lot can be learned by looking at such a, an outlier as him. Sheer delight and humor, as you find in Steinberg, really never go out of style. That's like for the ages, which is a good thing we've got it in the museum. Hello, my name is Robert Everin, and I'm consulting curator at the Norton Museum of Art. The artist himself was a singular person. Steinberg, if he's famous for anything, is famous for his incredible looping, flourishing line that seems to do everything. It can bite, it can tell stories, it can pose philosophical problems, it can amuse, certainly. He never fails to be funny somehow. The earliest drawing in the exhibition that I would call attention to is called Five Women with Pets. It's basically a gentle sort of satire that takes the morning ritual of women walking their dogs in bourgeois neighborhoods. He includes not just a dog, but unlikely animals like a cat, a hen, a peacock, and then a small bird that perches on a woman's finger, all in kind of an air of competition. One of the things about it is it gives a very good example of the early work of Steinberg with this incredibly wiry line of his. It's going to be there forever in his work, that kind of wiry line, even if he doesn't use it in every drawing. One can also see how this would have been hugely popular for a magazine like The New Yorker. The, the mixture of you know, warmth, humor, and satire, and real skill in the illustration. The next work that I would draw attention to, and it's, it's again Steinberg with uh, this very flourishing line that he uses. He was sent to go document Palm Beach. He seems to have had somewhat of a sharp reaction to it, and it's sometimes over-the-top dress of its hostesses, like this one uh, who has these enormous Peggy Guggenheim-like sunglasses and sits in an interior surrounded by all sorts of enormous bric-a-brac, kind of eclectic, inconsistent architecture and decoration. That's where uh, Steinberg, his career intersected with Palm Beach. Later on, there's an interesting chapter in Steinberg's work. He had a project with Ingemarath in the late 50s and early 60s that just sort of developed naturally, where he made masks out of paper bags. And they eventually got to having friends over and dressing up and photographing them in various kinds of activities. And this, eventually, these masks became independent works. They sort of migrated to backgrounds and to uh, mounting boards. They were no longer wearable, but they were very interesting because of the element of collage and also just this thing of drawing on something as disposable as a paper bag. There is one entitled from 1965, which also shows some uh, important techniques of his. Stamps were used to decorate the boxes that his family made in Bucharest. And later on, he found that it intriguing to try to make drawings using primarily stamps with just a few extra lines, which is, shows a face that's extremely geometric. But at the same time that he does that, he has this ability to make the, the face on it appear to be watching you. Now he's never too far away from something interesting or uncanny happening in his work. In visiting Steinberg, the, the exhibition, it's my hope that the viewer would come to understand that these periods that we talk about, the period of abstraction, this is a period of pop art and popular imagery, it shows you that these periods are not uniform, that there's always somebody in there who's doing something very differently from everybody else, just as Steinberg is doing here.